biggest challenges um, that we face really to our to our clients are explaining that micro is a little bit different than conventional or macro manufacturing. When we're, you know, measuring and handling and uh, designing parts that are this small, um, we really have to uh, have tolerances to one more decimal beyond what they're looking for. So the metrology becomes extremely important. Literally, um, we made a part that was literally a speck of dust, and it had some three-dimensional qualities to it, um, three-dimensional geometry. And that particular part had to go into, I don't know, a high-speed assembly process. Just presenting that part, which was 14,000 long, that's the largest dimension on the part, so 0 0.015, excuse me, 0 0.014 inches, and presenting that in such a way that a hair-sized wire can be accurately placed and assembled to that 14,000 part required, as we found out, required um, static eliminators to the nth degree. That was one challenge we had recently that was amazingly difficult. The bulk of our work that we do is in the medical industry, obviously. And the bulk of that work in medical is in implantable. Um, those parts need to stay in the body sometimes, you know, six months, eight months, a year, year and a half. And so they still need to be strong enough, yet pliable enough to be comfortable, which so those two things are challenging to be robust enough and strong enough, but yet comfortable enough to 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 be in the body for that period of time. First of all, what's the best material? That that's the first thing you ask. What's the best material for that application? Secondly, what's the best process to create that material combination? And thirdly, how are we going to validate it? Um, because those three things working together are the three triangles that are the most critical. I think that having more companies and networking within like MSG4, you can partner with other companies that solve a piece of that puzzle.